are here, Florida. On my screen, it looks like the humidity is getting to my camera, so I apologize if it's a little bit blurry. But, I figured I would let you guys know kind of where I've been at. Because um, on this channel, I share a lot about meditation and that kind of stuff. Um, but for me, with quarantine and everything going on, there's been a really big need for movement because, you know, back in our normal lives, look at these cool trees over here. That's awesome. Um, back in our normal lives, you know, we're running around, taking care of kids, going to jobs, going to school, going out with friends. You know, there's a lot more movement in our lives than we probably noticed. And for me, sitting down to meditation is something that I've been really struggling with because I find that my body needs just, <laughs> I find that my body just needs so much more movement. And so I've been getting out on some hiking trails here in Florida, some nearby to my house that are like paved places. But this place is like one of the only forested areas I've been able to find that allows dogs so I can take Nemo. Um, so this has kind of been my meditation and I'm interested to see how your practice has been looking. And I was just listening to a podcast the other day about mindfulness and meditation from these two people who live out in the wilderness, basically. Um, and they live in their trailer there and they kind of move around a lot and how they're incapable of holding themselves to a specific routine. And one of the people they were saying, we don't really have routines, we have rhythm. And I never thought about things that way, having rhythms rather than routines. We seem to be really in this way of life that puts routine and people that have routines up on a pedestal. Like that's the ultimate way to be. That's the ultimate way to get things done. That's the ultimate way to be successful or accomplish. Oh, there's a pretty butterfly behind me. Um, be successful or accomplish anything. And I found myself pre-COVID, PC, pre-COVID, um, really holding myself to that. And when I couldn't do that, I was, I felt so unsuccessful, so like I wasn't making movements in my life, so like I wasn't attaining all that I could attain, or mm, being someone who, this is big, being someone who was worthy of success, or promotions, or more money in my jobs that I had. I always felt very unworthy, PC, pre-COVID. Well, I guess that could be post-COVID too, we have to figure something else out there. Um, so understanding that instead of routines, there's rhythms to your life. I found that to be much more in tune with the world and like seasons and things like that. Um, so more of a, I think Nemo just got bit on the butt, um, more of a natural way of being is being in these rhythms. Sorry, I just got text. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Instead of routines, having rhythms in your life. And if you have already come to understand this about yourself, that you work better with rhythms, especially as females, I feel like we have rhythms throughout the month, every month, more so than um, males, be just because of the hormones that run through our bodies. Let me know what your rhythms are like, what you've discovered about yourself. And if you are someone like me who was really focused on having that routine, doing that same thing every day to be successful. Let me know how that worked out for you or how this idea of rhythms rather than routines resonates with you. Because um, for me, it was like a big light bulb. So that being said, we're gonna keep hiking. If more thoughts come my way, then I will record them for you.
There's so many butterflies here. So many types of plants I don't know, but I've seen beautyberry, which if I find some, I'll take a video for you guys, but it's really good natural insect repellent, if you didn't know. And then I believe these are slash pines behind me. See how they don't have any branches all the way up to the top? I think that makes them more fire resistant because Florida is known to have a lot of natural burns and things like that from lightning storms. Just keeps everything looking fresh. This forest here looks pretty healthy. I haven't seen like a lot of invasive species. There's some saw palmetto over there, which usually is characteristic of a place that hasn't had a burn in a while. They kind of take over. Um, but there's only just some here. Oh, and then there's these really pretty yellow flowers all over the place. Um, what else have I seen? I need to get a book about all the natural wildlife that I can take with me when I go hiking because I find myself looking at the plants and being like, I wonder what that is, or I know what that is, but I don't know what 10 more of these things are. So that's the plan. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, let me know, because I think this channel might slowly develop into backpacking and that kind of getting outside kind of stuff because the more curated videos and I like making the meditations and stuff. Oh, my hand's in the screen, sorry. I like making the meditations, but to sit inside, make the meditation, set up the lights, and then sit inside and edit the video for hours. They take hours to edit those videos for you guys. It just leaves me feeling so blah. I need to get outside. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, backpacking and hiking and nature, let me know and we can learn together.